Hello, and welcome to the Design World Video Center. I'm Laura Carabine, Senior Editor. Today's video is about ComSol Multiphysics 4.2a, which was announced in October at ComSol's User Conference. The latest product includes features that extend the reach of multiphysics modeling and simulation. Version 4.2a debuts two new products, the Particle Tracing Module and LiveLink for Creo Parametric, as well as many other features. For instance, the image to material conversion can shorten time to solution for image-based simulation. You can bypass both geometry creation and meshing of microscopic details. They can use image data to represent 2D materials by their color or grayscale. The latest version comes with a new digital elevation map interpolation feature that directly supports the importation of topographical surface data formatted in the U.S. Geological Survey's digital elevation map file format. You can combine DEM surfaces with other surfaces and solids to form a volumetric representation of both geometry and mesh. There's also a new live link for Creo Parametric. By establishing an associative connection between the two applications, any changes to a feature in the Creo Parametric CAD model automatically update the geometry in ComSol Multiphysics while retaining physics settings. All parameters specified in Creo Parametric can be interactively linked with your simulation geometry. The particle tracing module computes the trajectory of particles in a fluid or electromagnetic field, including particle field interactions. Any ComSol add-on module combines with the particle tracing module giving you access to additional modeling tools and fields to drive the particle motion. Applications include flow visualization, mixing, spraying, particle, particle separation, mass spectrometry, ion optics, beam physics, ion energy distribution functions, acoustic streaming, and ray tracing. There's a new join data set function that compares solutions corresponding to different meshes, time steps, or parameter values. You can form combinations of the solutions using the operations difference, sum, product, quotient, and explicit expressions. An important application for the join data set is to plot and evaluate the difference between two solutions in a mesh convergence study. External radiation sources can now be defined in the heat transfer module as sources of infinite or point sources at a finite distance. This option is available in the heat transfer physics interface and any physics interface that supports surface to surface radiation. A new electromechanics multiphysics interface combines solid mechanics and electrostatics with a moving mesh to model like deformation of electro electrostatically actuated structures. Applications include biased resonator computations with modal and frequency response and analysis and pull-in voltage computations. New electromechanical tutorials are available showing 2D and 3D models of a biased resonator for stationary analysis frequency response, normal models, pull-in voltage, and transient response. That's all for now. If you wanted to learn more about this product or have questions, visit ComSol's website at www.comsol.com. Thank you for watching and see you next time. That was a long one.